Hello and welcome back to some more of EVE Online with me the Green Dragon. We are still doing the noob cleaning out a sleeper gas pocket thing. There are obviously defenses. They are still trying to splat us. That is not going to continue for very long. We're going to splat the defenses instead. Also, drones engage. We're just going to... We're just going to make bad things happen to these things. We're almost done and then we have a burnt perimeter reservoir which at this point should have spawned the frigates and will be able to kill them. And that will be good too. Now we didn't find any other sites here that were weak enough for us to run. There were plenty of sites, especially combat ones. It's just that they're not exactly runnable by our new passes. They're close enough so we're gonna turn off that burner and turn on the repair unit because we actually have some capacitor to use with that. So there. Pew pew, pew 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 pew, pew pew, pew. I said pew, pew with great justice. That's right, pew. And so it goes. Ooh, 1200 hit, very sexy. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Edit location. Uh, safe. And we go here. Turn this off. Might as well turn this off. It will be, I think, six frigates. They might have webs, they might not, but either way, wow, that's a long jump, cost us a bit of energy, but either way, we should be able to face tank it long enough to splat them. With the webifier and the thing, how much does this cost to maintain? Oh, this is relatively easy and cheap on the energy, so yeah, we can run the tracking script and the webifier relatively easily and make their lives living hell wait for very little trouble as is our birthright yep five frigates not six five we're right on top of them that is great justice indeed now which of you are the dick ones that will actually make my life miserable the watchman right wow talk about a bitch of a time targeting them okay you, my dear, are it. Die in a fire. Die in a fire. This will be a lot easier. These are ridiculously soft by comparison. They will switch targets, though. Which is why I'm not deploying my poor drones. Because they're like my children, and I don't want them to be slaughtered horribly. Now, you are losing your speed, because you're webified, and also, fuck you. And please die in a fire now. Yeah, they didn't webify me, they just half neutralized me. Well, not anymore! Die. Die with great justice. Yes, let's get closer. Might as well use our engines. Uh, for this, three and a half will do. Get closer. Yes. Splat for great justice. Kill! Kill! See? Nice, easy, clear, because these are soft in comparison. Now, these kinds, this is the kind of site I meant to use the Augurov for, because I have the battle cruiser for the really heavy stuff, and it can handle it after fashion. And I have level 1 in Kaldari battlecruiser now, for, or battleship, rather. So I could always buy and set up one of those, and I think I have enough wealth in goods and money to do that. But fast little frigate shit's kind of a problem on occasion. So having a ship like this that can do that, kind of useful. Though of course in how slowly it recovers and having to actually repair the armor and you know stuff like that, that does sting a little bit. Now, 
I'm not going to be mining gas on screen because that's just stupid. But, we'll be heading into the next system and seeing if there are any interesting wormholes there. And we might run some of that. We'll see. We will see. I'm. There is a glass cannon battle cruiser called the Naga, and I am working towards being able to fly it. It's the only battle. It's the Kaldari battle cruiser that can f use large hybrid turrets as opposed to medium ones, which means that it will be very, very hard hitting, and it has lots of mid slots. So I'm really hoping to equip it with. Um, heavy neutron cannons, or neutron cannons, or whatever they're called, you know, the heavy neutron blasters, except that the actual heavy neutron blasters are medium, you know, the equivalent, the heavy mounting neutron gun. This will give me, like, a top range of 15 kilometers, 16 with the skills I've improved now, at the outer edge, I think, and um, with a web fire and some general awesomeness, I should be able to do a lot of splatting for great justice and glory. Meanwhile, of course, we're picking up like a million, two million in uh, sleeper loot, which is not that good, but it's something. Really, it's peanuts, it will just barely pay for the bullets we spent, except that we didn't spend any bullets, but all the same, there is awesomeness there. Just, it's in very small amounts in this case. Alrighty. And we are awaiting. Waiting for stuff to repair and our weak little engines to puff our way over there. Alrighty. So. Um. This is now safe. We can bring our venture in when we choose. And warp to location within zero. I think I had just enough power in the capacitor to warp all the way to. Oh, hey, and we've just about repaired our stuff. There, 100% armor. Excellent. Excellent. And clearing out little frigate nests like that, I think this is... It's not too hard, it's not too grindy, it's very easy with... It seems to be very easy with a ship like this. Which is why I brought it over here. This is the first time I'm trying to do it with this ship. But it seems to be working well. Against weaker targets, the tougher sides, not so much. And mostly it's because for those situations where you do have to hit and run, there is the problem that it takes a while for it to actually... How's the mass? Mass hasn't been disrupted? No. Okay. Good. It takes a while for it to repair. Which does kind of suck. Uh, core complexion ink. Yes, please. Let's warp to there and grab our Astero and see if there are any interesting wormholes in the next system over. Because I might just be interested in running some of those sites. For reasons. Of glory. And reasonings. Let's not forget the reasonings. Ah. Yeah. 60 plus resistances across the board. It's not amazing. But it'll do. I think it'll do. I really think it will be okay. I really, really do. Okay. Okay. Requested. Docking request accepted. So. Okay. So, let's unload the neural networks. And I have some wealth I haven't actually carried over to home yet. Here as well, cause reasons. Now you, you, you are properly equipped. I didn't pull anything off of you. No, I didn't. Okay, good. Let's go then. 
let's go. Let's jump to Dantumi and see what we can have find there for great glory and justice. And jump. Nice, fast little ship because of the nano fibers that really, really cuts down on the mass. And as you can see, it really does the inertia modifier thing as well, which makes it a lot more maneuverable. It aligns faster, can warp faster. It there is great glory in this. Great, great glory in this indeed. And you know that's that's good because we all enjoy great glory. I could head upwards, admittedly. Here, cause okay, this is. Okay, there is someone who's a suspect, but they're not on my face, so I'm inclined to ignore it. Okay, uh, align to the star, use the MVD, deploy the probes. Okay, so they're dissing each other's homes, apparently, in Russian. And right, right, and that's that guy's telling the others not to piss him off, and it's Russians. They're doing Russian things. It's traditional. They're being Russian. You know, business as usual. Uh. Okay, I'm not gonna be doing the data site, I think. Those data sites suck, especially when you start comparing them to the actual risk involved in claiming them. A relic site I might go for. What I really want is a wormhole here. That's the dream, anyway. That's the bloody dream. Gas site. Oh, fuck the both of you then. Jeez. Okay. Anything interesting here? I don't know. This even music it seems kind of depressing right now. I mean, it's. Eh? What are you? Are you a little pirate? Looks like. Minus 3.2. Oh, yeah. And there is a single wormhole. Ignore the gas site, cause fuck that. I'm not gonna be mining Losek anyway, cause people will come and kill me. Fuck Losek gas mining. I, it's just a nervous, annoying business. I'd rather war, uh, gas mine in a quiet wormhole. It's a lot... It's been a lot less nervous overall. If it's a quiet wormhole. It depends, of course, on if you can find a quiet wormhole. Hopefully this is an actual wormhole system, one that hasn't been thoroughly plundered by other people yet. But we'll see in a second, won't we? Won't we now? Won't we now? Okay... Warp put in 20 and recover active probes. How far? 1.42 AU, as in right on top of us. Alright. Alright. Hmm. And when pray title do you lead to? Nullsec. Huh. At least a Nullsec. Beginning to decay. Stability is undisrupted, very large ships can pass through. Okay, saved as in progress. I did say that I don't want to go into Nullsec, but I'm gonna check out the other side of this hole just to be sure, because I don't know, it could be something 
we can always pop back in. I am curious as to what part of Nalsek this actually leads to and what the situation around there looks like. Because reasons, really. Only one in system, which means that we can, at the very least, scan this system for something good. I might not stick around if there's anyone else in system, if we decide to travel around here, but if there isn't... So Pentis Sanctum, probably too tough to be of use to me. Okay, so that is probably the wormhole, we're not interested in that one, but these two. Please, informeth me of the glorious of these doeth. Wow, that was weird, huh? Well, learn to live with it. I'm a bit weird that way. Actually, I'm kind of weird in a lot of ways, but eh? Fucking combat side. See, I came all this way, braving dangers untold and hardships unnumbered and all that crap, and now... You give me a combat side game? A combat side? A fucking combat side. It's it's like you don't care. That hurts. Okay. Uh first of all, jump spur. This system is relatively unvisited. Like there's no jumps there at all. Four then this whole area seems relatively quiet. Average pilots in space. That one is a major base. This looks like it could be a camp. What about there? Is there someone in space there? There is someone in space there. We won't want to go in that direction. But that doesn't mean we can't head, say, till here. No, escape pods destroyed. Okay, ships destroyed in the last hour. It seems safe. It really does. It's another combat site. It does seem safe. I uh, I don't want to go in that direction. That could well be a scout watching for people approaching the guild. You know. And, um, hell, there could, that could also be a scout, but that one seems suspicious. If there is a major, how many players? That's, that ships, we're not looking at players. Rich pilots in space, 11. Mm. Still, if they decide to hunt me en masse, that could be extremely annoying for me in an extremely dangerous way. I don't want to risk my ship, but these systems look... And I emphasize the look clear, so we will explore these. We won't... We might not go further than that, but I do want to explore these four systems plus the other one that was clear next to this one that was, you know, as a thing. But after that, we are gonna just... Okay, system is clear, no scan results, jumping to next one. Because there are a couple systems that can be safely explored here. Now, I lost an sterile just before this one, to a place where there was just one guy in system, I stopped the door elk side and he ambushed me. I think he lived there, so even if it's just one guy that's just sitting in space, that doesn't mean he won't come and kill your dumb noob ass if you show up and start doing his shit. What he considers to be his shit. Now, obviously, all relic sides by definition are mine and. Okay, Justice Jack. Unfortunately, there are also things here. 
obviously we need to take a very very close look at these and see if there's anything valuable and then we will go from there after we have some ideas to what is actually here that's a serpent is base ignore that one you on the other hand are you of value that's another guy vague suspicions abound Yep. Okay. He's in a drake. And that's a wormhole. You gonna sit on top of that or are you jumping? You're jumping. I think they're doing some sort of teamwork thing and they're just... Might end up actually doing bad things to me I'm suddenly interested in that wormhole because that could be a way out if this turns south on me yes I know but this is the back end of nowhere and suddenly people well actually no they but who knows they could be hunting for just whatever there's no way they can be after me though I am being paranoid mind you I have reason to be paranoid paranoid uh, Paranoia keeps me alive, and not being paranoid has lost me valuable, valuable ships, but I think not in, in this case, not so much. Where the frack do you lead to? Dangerous unknown parts of space. We'll save this location. If we pussy out, we might decide to take this way back. Hell, we might have to if they've decided to gate camp on the way back. We might have to just Walk rush back active. to this system. Cause reasons. Cause reasons. Okay. Let's go, go, go. Star map. Six average pilots in space and what? No more average pilots in space? So I could head further before heading back. Okay. Probe scanner. Okay, there are anomalies here. You know, if I manage to actually make some decent money here, I wouldn't even care about how much more I could explore. Just give me some cash and I'll go home. Right now. Right this second, I will go home and take whatever I can get. Okay, 2%. That could be good, but we'll scan down the strongest signal first. Cause reasons. Cause reasons. Yeah, I actually managed to lose one of the stratioses I lost to the standard sleeper cache, because apparently I had gotten something wrong about how they're supposed to be run and bad things happened bad things that led to ship loss that kind of bad things uh, in progress the one in next system um, just in case we need it All right chat we won't be needing that I'm afraid okay for a U only person in system war put in 20 let's see what's there what kind of hole are you pray tell you can tell I'm a lot more nervous about exploring dangerous places because I've gotten burned a few too many times and it it stung you know, losing within a couple of days like 1.2 billion of worth of ships is... It... It hurt. It really hurt. Let's just wormholes. How about one that leads to high sec? How about that? Give me a hole that leads to high sec. Hmm? 
Icicle? Probably not with as hard as it is to scan down, but still. Still. I would like to find at least one side though before I go back. Just one. If that turns out to be a sleeper cache, incidentally, I'll be extremely happy. Unless, of course, it screws me over, which it shouldn't, but if it does, you know. If it does, then that'll be a thing too, won't it? Alright. Where the fuck do you lead to? Warp drive active. Where the frank do you lead to, my darling? Okay, you. There. Scan. And the hole leads to... Drumroll! The hole leads to... Oh. This seems like a better bolt hole since it's fresher. Progress. Okay. There we go. So we'll go through that on our way back. And what the fuck are you? Probably not a wormhole with as hard as it is to scan. So that leaves several possibilities. Combat site, relic site, or data site, or possibly even a gas site. Two of these are good for us. The other two, not so much. Let's see which one is it then, shall we? Shall we? I will not go... What? It just despawned? That is extremely... Extremely rude. I don't approve at all. We might pop into this wormhole. For... Heading back. In fact, I might not go any further. And just go inside the wormhole. Well, let's let's stick our nose in there and see just how occupied slash filled with goodies it is. Because I really would like to know. And I'll split the episode here, and I'll see you inside the wormhole. So uh, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you there.